iPhone 10R versus iPhone 8 speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology iPhone 10R versus the iPhone 8 of last year. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now, the only real advantage here are two things for the 10R when it comes to the speed, and that's gonna be the A12 and the RAM. Also, we will have one more extra bonus, and that is the massive improvement in graphics over the iPhone 8. However, the iPhone 8 does boot up first, and the iPhone 8 does cost like $250 less than that of the iPhone 10R. So you have to take that in consideration if you are gonna be buying one of these two devices. Okay, so we're gonna quickly test Face ID versus Touch ID second generation for the iPhone 8, beginning with the iPhone 10R. 3, 2, 1. Look at the phone and you're in. You could also start swiping before you go ahead and look at it and it'll go in a little bit faster. But overall, the 10R's Face ID has been just as good as the iPhone 10S series and even faster than the iPhone 10. However, over here on the iPhone 8, you do have Touch ID, and you can see it's very fast as well, and Apple actually just put Touch ID in the latest MacBook Air, so I guess it's not completely dead yet, at least in the entire Apple product line. Now, we're gonna go ahead and place this on a table, and this is one of the reasons I like Touch ID is because you don't have to actually look at the screen to activate it when it's on a table, whereas with the 10R, you're usually gonna have to pick this thing up and at least look at it to open it up, although they're both very quick. Okay, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You can see everything closed out on the right, everything closed out on the left. Let's begin with calculator three, two, one. You can see pretty similar performance there. Now, let's go into clock. You can see again, very similar performance. What about Snapchat? Three, two, one. You can see that looks to be first for the iPhone 10R. Let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see the 10R maybe slightly. Now that gesture does come home first over the physical press on the home button. Let's go into Twitter, three, two, one. And let's see which one can open up Twitter first. That is the iPhone 10R. When scrolling, it's basically the same and going into notifications, pretty similar as well. Let's go into Instagram, three, two, one. And you can see Instagram loads at a very similar pace and it's showing here that the 10R might not be that much faster in your everyday use. So you really wanna think about if you're gonna be doing heavier stuff, if you're gonna get the 10R over the eight. So let's go into YouTube and you can see YouTube is first on, whoa, that looked like neither actually. Let's go into trending and you can see trending tab, very similar on both devices. Let's go into Prime Video, three, two, one. See which one gets there first. And that is the iPhone 10R. Coming home, let's go into Amazon. And Amazon does load first for, looks like the iPhone 8 on that one. Let's come home, let's go into eBay. And eBay is first on which device is gonna be the iPhone 10R. So you can see they're pretty close in performance. We're not seeing huge differences, but will it change in the gaming round, Slither? And you could see, looks like the 10R slightly ahead. And you could see in casual games, even in casual games, the 10R seems to load them faster than the older devices of 2017. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride and see which one gets there first. And it looks like we're gonna get a win here again for the 10R. So yeah, the more power is showing right there. And when you play, very similar performance on both when you're actually playing the game. As they both have very powerful graphics, but again, the 10R with a big increase in graphics. So let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and see which one could get there first. And you could see that is going to be the iPhone 10R. Let's hit play on both. And you could see which one gets there in the game first. And that is the iPhone 10R very, very slightly. Like I say, when actually in the game, the performance is very similar on both devices. Let's go into PUBG Mobile and see which one can load up the game first. Now this one does take a while, so I will be back when it is done. Okay, so the iPhone XR loaded that first, probably by like two or three seconds. However, the XR gives you a much larger screen for playing this game, so it's a more enjoyable experience than the iPhone 8 all around. Let's go into speed test, three, two, one. And you can see speed test is first for the XR. So the XR is showing its stuff. What about video shop? And you can see video shop looked like it was slightly ahead on the 10R, very, very minute. So let's go into the cameras, three, two, one. And you can see it looks like the 10R was slightly ahead 
for the camera. So both of them very fast here in all these applications, but I think that you are seeing a little bit of a boost in performance here on the iPhone XR, but not a giant boost in performance. So here we are with the RAM management test. Basically, we're gonna go through the applications backwards to see if we get any reloads on the device as it's holding these applications in memory. And you can see nothing there. They're just pausing the games, which is what iOS usually does. And you can see nothing there, eBay. And let's go into Amazon, Prime Video, YouTube, Instagram with the reload there for the iPhone XR. So even with three gigabytes of RAM, you might get some reloads here on your XR. Twitter, uh, WhatsApp does reload as well. Let's go into Snapchat and Clock and Calculator. So a couple of reloads there on the iPhone XR. It does only have three gigs of RAM, so I wouldn't expect it to be like an eight gig of RAM phone. Here on the iPhone 8, you have even less RAM at two gigabytes. So let's see if we get reloads. And let's go into speed test, PUBG. PUBG was pretty decent. Dead Trigger 2 held that similar. And Jetpack Joyride with the reload already. What about Slither? Slither with the reload. eBay, decent. Amazon, decent. Let's go into Prime Video. Let's go into YouTube. Let's go into Instagram, Instagram with the reload. So the iPhone XR has already won here as this one has already reloaded more applications than the XR. Again, with the WhatsApp and Snapchat and clock and calculator. So not bad performance here for the iPhone 8, but still reloaded more applications. So this one's going to the XR as well. Okay, so I shot a 1080-30 clip on the iPhone XR, airdropped it over to the iPhone 8, plugged it into Video Shop, and we're gonna go ahead and render these out to see which one is faster here. Let's go in three, two, one, and see which one can compile this video first. Now these are both very fast at this, so we're gonna see which one can win. And the iPhone 8 with the slight win maybe, or was that pretty equal? So. The iPhone 8 is no slouch when it comes to the video rendering, neither is the 10R, so I think you're gonna have a great experience here on both of them. However, I find that in longer videos, the 10R seems to take the lead, but in shorter clips, like one to five minutes, it's gonna be a pretty close match here in your video rendering. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in, and you can see that the iPhone 8 doesn't lose by much, but it does definitely lose to the iPhone 10R in the single core, 4213 versus 4791, and a decent margin win for the iPhone XR in multi-core, which can explain why maybe it was doing better in RAM management, maybe it was doing better in the gaming as the multi-core score is higher. So the iPhone XR, definitely the more powerful phone here, at least in benchmarking. So that's it, between the iPhone XR and the iPhone 8, the iPhone XR is definitely the more powerful performer here between both of these and if you do get a 256 gigabyte iphone 8 it costs the same as a 64 gigabyte iphone 10r however the big bottleneck for the iphone 8 going forward is going to be its two gigabytes of ram not really its processor so i think the 10r is a better value when it comes to performance but if you guys want to see a full comparison between the smaller iphone 8 and the iphone 10r let me know down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing, also click the like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.